Once upon a time, in a small beautiful village called Ede, lived a woman named Anwilika. She was known far and wide as Anwilika the Wicked, a name earned through her reputation for cruelty and corniness. But then, there was more to her story. Anwilika had not always been wicked. It all started in her youthful age. She was a kind and gentle soul who had dreams of a bright future. However, her life took a dark turn when she met a charming but deceitful man named Grigori. Grigori wooed her with his sweet words and promises of a life filled with riches and adventure, and Anwilika, unknown to her, fell deeply in love. They were married in a grand traditional ceremony, and for a while, their love was the talk of the town, but as time passed, Grigori's true nature began to reveal itself. It was not the man she thought he was. He was a master manipulator who is full of deceit and cruelty. Under Grigori's influence, Anwilika's heart hardened. She turned away from her once kind nature and began to embrace the wickedness that Grigori embodied. Together, they plotted schemes and carried out acts of treachery, all in pursuit of their insatiable thirst for power and wealth. One fateful day, Grigori set his sights on the village's beloved king, Ikenga, whose fortune was the talk of the town. Grigori devised a corny plan to marry Anwilika off to King Ikenga, with the intention of seizing his wealth and lands once the marriage was consummated. Anwilika, now fully ensnared by her husband's malevolent influence, agreed to the plan. She used her beauty and charm to captivate King Ikenga, and the two were married in a lavish ceremony that sent shockwaves through the village. Little did Ikenga know that his new bride was as wicked as her husband Gregory. As the days turned into weeks, Anwilika and Gregory began to carry out their wicked plan. They slowly poisoned King Ikenga's mind, convincing him that the villagers were conspiring against him and that his wealth was under constant threat. Anwilika played the role of the doting wife, all the while manipulating her husband into signing away his properties and fortunes. But even as Anwilika embraced her wickedness, a small ember of her former self still flickered deep within her heart. She couldn't help but feel a pang of guilt for what she was doing to King Ikenga and the villagers. She knew she was on a dark path and she yearned to break free from Grigori's influence. One night, as the moon hung low in the sky, Anwilika made a decision that would change the course of her life. She confided in a kind-hearted villager named Ekeni who had always seen the goodness in Anwilika's eyes, despite the wickedness she had embraced. With Ekene's help, Anwilika hatched a plan to expose Grigori's treachery and put an end to his schemes. They gathered evidence of Grigori's deceit and presented it to King Ikenga, who was shocked and horrified by the truth. In a fit of rage, he asked for Grigori to be banished from the village, vowing never to see his face. Anwilika, now free from Grigori's grasp, used her newfound freedom to make amends with the villagers and help rebuild the trust she had lost. Though the villagers never forgot the dark days of Anwilika the Wicked, they also never forgot the woman who had found herself in the most unlikely of places. And so, in the end, Anwilika's story was a unique tale of freedom and the enduring capacity for good within the human heart proving that even the wickedest of souls can find their way back to the light.